time to do a quick update on our chili seedlings up here. They are about a week and a half old now. We have our Chinese five color here, which has three leaves. And if you look very closely, you can see two new ones coming out. Uh, our orange habaneros here, I don't think it's germinating from what I can see. I have a bit of a mold issue, as you can tell, it's taking over. Italianano has sprouted. The Bonzi has started to put up his true leaves in the centre there, and he's got his little seed shell stuck. I can't get it quite in, in camera, but his little seed shell is stuck on those two outer leaves. And the bird's eye baby here, he's putting out his first true leaves in the centre. So you can see a good example of how the shape of the leaves change from the cotton dons, I think it's pronounced, to the, the first true leaves. And as the true leaves develop and he keeps putting out more new ones, they'll change. That meowing in the background is cat number two. Hey, cat number two. Yeah, are you helping? She's helping us today in the river. She's very vocal and upset because I am looking up on her shelves and she just can't reach up there and see what we're looking at. So I better turn off the camera and show her so she can be happy. Okay, cat number two is a little bit happier now. I lifted her up and showed her the seeds that we were looking at. So these are my peppers so far, the main batch that I'm growing. Uh, I'm going to convert them to bonsais or bonshis eventually. So we have our Aji Jabita and he was pruned back and you can see he's putting out a bunch of new shoots and his leaves are actually really nice they're really shiny and green and they have this lovely heart shape to them Bolivian rainbow is the one that's growing the slowest I do wonder if his purple leaves slow his growth state down but he has been pruned topped I should say last week and he started regrowing our starfish at the back, he stays a really nice bright green. I don't know if I can bring the two leaves sort of side by side, but you can see the difference in colour between these two. And the starfish, I have pruned him back between those two leaves. As you can see, there's a node there that I've pruned him back. And I did it on this one as well at the back here. It's a bit hard to show you. So that should encourage him to start back budding. In fact, you can see he started to back bud there at that branch. So that will encourage a lot of growth further down and to thicken. Numex Twilight, unlike those two which have the big rounded leaves, these guys are much longer and thinner. And we are getting a bit of curling here, so I'm going to have to look that up, why he's curling. I did just transplant a bunch of them into new buckets. You can see the really healthy root systems in there, they're nice and white in the water. Um, I just transplanted them because I had too many in one bucket and they were just getting way too crowded for each other. Uh, we have our Pimenta Shazoro, Shaz however you pronounce that. Um, and he has been also pruned and topped a number of times, I think twice or three times now. And he's got these on back buddies. So if I was to come in and re-prune them, you can see I would cut this middle section here off and leave those two branches on the side, these two big leaves, this one here and this one here. And I would prune this little growth off. Or I would let him grow a little bit more and prune some of his inner leaves that are very small off. So that's how you top these guys. And this is our Trepidy Navorna pepper at the back here. He's also been topped a number of times. I've been topping them to encourage the lower growth. The Marbles has gone absolutely insane with back budding in here. He's, if I lift this up, you can see a ridiculous number of new leaves and branches starting to form in there. So he is, this species loves his back budding. He's got a little bit of, uh, where's my camera, saltiness forming on this. I don't know if that's got to do with me or if he's having some issue. I will have to look into this. It looks like salt is forming on the leaves. Maybe not enough air 
floor is getting to him. He has some down here as well. We have, if I move it around here, my mini bell orange. This is a standard mini bell or pepper, capsicum if you want to call it, or bell pepper. Um, but he's miniature, so his size of fruit or pepper should be really quite small. And you can see he's developed that lovely dark trunk that's common for many mini bells. And he has been topped a couple times, again, if I find the camera. So you can see my top mark and then where he started to even do some back budding there and around it. And we finally have our pink habanero, the faux habanero as I like to call it. And he also has a lot of back budding happening as well. That's where I've pruned. Interestingly though, the other day I thought, here you go if I can see it, I think that's a flower on my marbles because it doesn't look like new growth coming through. Um, and here's another one there just sort of I think they might be developing some flowers because it's not where I've cut but there's definitely some of these little white bulb bits showing up on the marbles so my marbles which is only hmm, five centimeters high he may be developing some fruit or flowers so I'm not sure I'll have to look that up because I feel like he might be too small at the moment to actually go into fruiting so I may need to prune those off to discourage the f any fruit from forming until he's a bit older. 